Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to look at the plugin FZF for uh, Oh My Seashell. It is awesome, it will save you a lot of time. Let us jump right into it as usual. And let me just show you what Excel does before I will show you, before I show you how to install it uh, at all. I have Oh My Seashell right here, I'm using WSL, I'm using Windows, Windows subsystem for Linux. So this is the same as if I would actually run inside an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine or a real Ubuntu system. Um, then I would also uh, be able to run on my C-shell like this and I would also be able to run F sets F. Let me just try to show one thing. What happens if I write kubernetes? Uh, if you are used to uh, Kubernetes, then you probably know. Then usually I would just get a list of... Um, I'll just get a list of uh, of uh, namespaces, but because I have this plugin installed in one of the newer uh, terminals right here, then look, see what actually happens. Now I'll get this list where I can choose my namespace, and I can go into my Minecraft namespace instead of actually having my um, uh, yeah, in, instead of just getting a stupid list, then I would actually get the possibility, opportunity to call. QBNS, and then with the argument uh, from whatever I choose right here. And that is the if set if, which does this magic right here. Usually I would just get the, the list, and then, I was, and then I would have to say, ah, oh, yeah, and then, I, then I would have to write QBNS once again, and then I would, have to say, then I would say Terraria, or whatever, or Minecraft, if they want to change to Minecraft, the Minecraft namespace inside Kubernetes. Then this is exactly what it does. Another thing you, uh, I, I can do is I can press Control. Uh, control R if I want something in the history. If I press Control R, I have this uh, cool command. I'm echoing out something really, really important. I I, I can remember it's something with echo, um, or, or maybe a, it was something important. So I'll just write important right here. So this is a a fuzzy search I'm doing right here. So I just I'm just writing important, and then I remember it was something with echo also, and then I get these opportunities right here uh, uh, that I can choose from. Ah, here it is. Echo important stuff. That was actually the one that I was uh, looking for in my uh, in, in my history. So it's the same if I if I, uh, I could also have pressed up 100 times and then if I could have found my uh, I could have found my my last used uh, command or I could have written history like this history. Then I would, of course then I would get a list of history and I could have searched through that. But it's just much much easier, much faster with the if set uh, if set f, f uh, plugin installed. Then I just press Control R. Uh, let us say say that I want to, to to change the directory. Then I press Alt C. Then I can go to a directory. I remember that the directory I want to go uh, to it is something. It is something with config. It is in a config folder somewhere. Um, it is something with my infrastructure. It is my in my infrastructure infrastructure folder somewhere. And yeah, I wanted to go to was it Terraria WordPress? I want to change directory to this folder right here. Then I just press enter, and now I am suddenly into this this in, in this folder right here. I'm in my projects code investigator infrastructure. KA, WordPress, and then config, because that was the folder that I chose from the list. It It is just so convenient, it is just so easy to use this FZF plugin. There's another one that is the control T that we have right here. This is if I want to look for files. Here we have this file right here, so here I can find files. Um, let me just, uh, let me just uh, go a bit up in a, in a directory hierarchy so I can show you how I uh, how efficient it actually is. I, I press Control T now, and then I can look for my file. Okay, it was something. It was it was named YAML in the end. It was something with Minecraft. Um, yeah, maybe it was something with my values actually. And then I can also press up and down, of course. Then I can choose my file. Then I get my file on the on the command line like this, and then I can uh, go and look uh, and see the, uh, the the content of this. Another way is actually I can press uh, cat right here, and then I can press, um, and I can press, then I can press, uh, I can press Control T again, of course, and then I can say YAML. There was something with YAML. Maybe it was this folder, uh, this file right here. That's another one. Um, I can also choose. I can also choose uh, if you use choose two stars and then press uh, tab. Then it's the same as pressing the Alt, uh, the control, oh, sorry, the Control T for file, and then again I can find my YAML file right here, and then I can say that this was something with Terraria this time maybe, and here we have some values. Here they are, namespace Terraria. That was the value file right there. 
It is awesome. It is cool. If you don't already have it in your uh, as as an included plugin, then include it right away. But, okay, and how how can you actually include this? It is quite easy. It's very easy when you know how to include it. And the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your um, you go to, you need to go to your home folder, and then you just uh, edit your C, uh, or my C shell or your C shell file. Your set shrc file, which has been called every time you start up a new terminal in instance, and then you go find the your plugins section right here. If you cannot find it, if you're using vi, then you can write forward slash, and then you can write plugins like this, and then enter, and then you will actually find your plugins, and you can press N to find the next instance, and here you are. Um, so now we have the if set if right here. There's a lot of other functionality inside. It's really, really good for finding files and for looking stuff up. If you have some kind of list, then you can send this to if set if, and then you can actually choose from that list. It, does, it doesn't have to know about the, what, what you're trying to do. Then it will actually just find the, and then it will just find the, um, the, the entry that you're looking for. So whenever you are looking for stuff, if whenever you are, whenever you want to find uh, some kind of entry, then if setf is really really cool. Uh, but you just add it to your, you just add it to your list right here. If you if you haven't added already kubectl and you are and you are playing around with the Kubernetes, uh, please add this right away because you need the kubectl plugin also. It, it is also awesome. But uh, I will not uh, talk more about this in this video right here. Um, so that was step one. The second step is that you need to clone out a project. So here, here's a documentation, OMC shell, three master plugins, FZF, right here. Of course, there's a ton of plugins for OMC shell, but you need to go and look uh, right here for this guide also. And then you need to go to installation area, right here, installation, uh, using Git, right here. So this was actually this was how I installed it. I cloned the project in, uh, into the home folder. Dot fzf. Let me just zoom in a little bit, like this. And after cloning out, after cloning it out the project, then I called install, and then it actually worked. And of course, on top of that, I also installed. I also enabled the fzf or my C shell plugin. Um, so that's actually it. It was really, really easy to um, to install. So let us say, can we do something else cool with this uh, utility? Let us say that you have something um, or multiple uh, lines, like um, tomato, tomato, and a new line, and then uh, cucumber, and then new line again, and then um, an orange like this. Then you can actually send this to fzf. And then you can you do your fuzzy search inside those things right here. So it actually it just needs the list. Every time you have a new uh, line break, then you can actually look for stuff. So that means that if you want to look for stuff with tomato, and the reason why I'm doing this is, for, of course, if you have some kind of text file um, where you have line uh, shifts in it, you can just pipe it. Uh, you, yeah, you can you can send it to uh, to fzf, and then you can actually go and look through these lines. Um, actually, let us just try something funny. Let us just try something funny. And now I want to. Go to my home folder. I want to categorize the um, my oh my C shell file right here, and then I want to send this to fzf because I'm looking for my plugins folder right now. I'm looking for the plugins line, and here you can see right here I actually get everything that has something with the plugins. If I want some more stuff, uh, yeah, you should also uh, have the line git or maybe fzf or something like this. Like you see now, there's only one entry that I get right here. Then what happens if I press enter? Then I just get this line uh, out right here. I'm just getting it named right here. It is not being used for anything. If you want, uh, if you wanted to, um, uh, yeah, you, of course you can. Then you can copy this and and, and use it for something else. Um, what was this? Yeah, I want to list some files and I want to send those to fzf also. And here, what I'm, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something with Kubernetes like this, and then here I find my file. So it's pretty cool. Of course, you can turn off the shortcut keys if you don't like that. You can press L C for uh, for changing uh, for changing directory. Then you can just turn it off in your configuration. There's a lot of configuration options actually for FCF. Um I've not, I've actually not not looked into all of those, um, but uh, but there's a lot of those. That's actually it. That's what I want to show tonight. I wanted to I want to give a shout, a shout out to Mustafa who showed me this uh, cool plugin. Thank you very much for showing me this, uh, Mustafa. And uh, everybody have a great evening, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.